Today, Mummy Pig is doing a big spring clean of the kitchen. <laughs> one sponge, one brew. I'm ready for the big clean. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> I can't play with you right now, George. Sorry. We'll play with George, Mummy. It just rained and there are muddy puddles to jump in outside. OK, Pepper, but don't forget to wear your boots. Boots. <laughs> and please take off your muddy boots when you come back inside. <laughs> uh oh, maybe we should go inside before it starts to rain too much. Good idea! Let's play hide and seek around the house. But not in the kitchen to let Mummy clean. <laughs> to count. <laughs> OK, George, count to ten. <laughs> oh. That was quick, George. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, those over there aren't my footprints. <gasps> You're so good, George. Oh no, Mummy isn't going to be very happy. What are we going to do? Mummy is using the broom and sponge in the kitchen. And we need to clean this mess quickly before she notices. <laughs> Maybe we can find other things to clean with around the house. Good idea, Susie. Let's look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. <gasps> oh. uh. All right, George, you wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. <coughs> now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's okay, Pepper. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> well done, team. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. Wait a minute. You were cleaning with the sponge and the broom earlier, but we found them in the living room and in mine and Georgia's bedroom. You hid them, Mummy. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes to play hide and seek. <gasps> <laughs> Look at me! Wow, Susie! Three, two, one, splash! Did 
you see the big splash? That was an impressive jump, Susie. Wow, Susie, that was great. Thanks, Peppa. Hmm. What's wrong, Peppa? I thought you liked coming to the swimming pool. I do, but I want to dive like Susie and make big splashes. But you can. The diving board, it's too high and scary. Hmm. I think I know something that might help you. Mummy, what's that storybook? Oh, Peppa, this is not just any storybook. This is a magical story. Ooh, magical? That's right. What's it about? Well, it's a book about a very, very magical piggy and a very magical pool. Please, will you read it to me, Mummy? Of course. Ahem. This is a story about the magical pool. Once upon a time, there was a very magical pool. The magical pool was watched over by a princess pig who would sing to the water to keep its magic glowing. La, 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 la. Um, Mummy, could the princess pig be giant? <laughs> I... <clears throat> yes, Peppa, of course, why not? The giant princess pig kept singing her magical songs to the water. But then something happened. The water disappeared. Oh no, that's not a nice story. Don't worry, Peppa. It's not finished yet. The princess tried to bring the water back with her singing, but her magic powers didn't work in this way. The princess had to find water from somewhere. But where will she find water from, Mummy? I don't know, Peppa. There's lots of water here. If only we could give the princess some. But how could we do that, Mummy? It would be difficult. But if someone could make a big splash, that might be enough to reach the princess. Oh, I can do it. I can make a big splash. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I'll make the biggest splash ever and help the princess. Ooh, it's very high. You can do it, Peppa. Yay, Peppa. Three, two, one. Splash! It worked. The magic pool was full again and the princess was happy she could sing to it. The end. Did you enjoy that, Peppa? 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 Up here, Mummy! <laughs> Today is an extra special day because Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa and George on a summer holiday adventure. Those bags look very heavy, Peppa. Are you sure you don't need some help? I'm fine, thank you. My bag has wheels on it. Oops! <laughs> Have you packed everything you need for our summer holiday adventure? Hmm, I think so. Let's check the list. Have you got your swimming costume? Yep. Have you got your sun hat? Yep, I've got it! What about your sunglasses? Yep, yep, and yep! Summer holiday adventure, here we come! What's the matter? Why aren't we moving anywhere? Hmm, I can't seem to find my keys to start the motor home. Oh dear, maybe you packed them by mistake. I suppose I might have done. Maybe I left them in the house somewhere. Don't worry, Daddy. Detective Peppa and Detective George can help you find your missing keys. Really? Oh, good. That is a relief. Now, 
where did you see them last? Hmm, I think I saw them in the living room when I got up this morning. Excellent, a clue! Follow me, Detective George. Detective Pepper and Detective George are searching for the lost keys in the living room. Any luck? Hmm. Well, they're not on top of the TV. Maybe they fell behind the sofa. Oh. Nope. Where else did you go this morning, Daddy? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Maybe I left them in the kitchen when I was having my breakfast. Aha! Another clue. Follow me. Detective Pepper and Detective George search the kitchen for the lost keys. Were the keys under the table, George? No, maybe they're in the fruit bowl. Oops! <laughs> oh dear, I can't see the keys anywhere. Hmm, maybe we could pretend it's the morning again and see where you went. That's a great idea, Pepper. Now let me think. First, I sat at the table and ate my breakfast. After that, I went over to the sink and did the washing up. Maybe Mummy found them in the luggage. We should go and check. Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Did you? No, not yet. But I think we're getting close with Detective Pepper and Detective George's help. We checked every room in the house, but we couldn't find Daddy's keys anywhere. Suddenly, Detective Pepper notices something shiny poking out of one of Daddy Pig's pockets. Daddy, what's that in your pocket? My keys. They were in my pocket the whole time. Well done, detectives. We would never have found them without your help. Hooray! Does this mean we can go on our summer holiday adventure for real this time? Absolutely. Let's go! Whee! Who's excited about seeing all the animals at the petting farm? Oh, me, me, I am. Me too, me too. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Good thing we brought our raincoats, Daddy. in the petting farm don't have raincoats, will they mind the rain? Hmm, I'm not sure, Pepper. Hopefully we can keep them happy with all of the food we brought for them. It's a shame there aren't any fish at this petting farm. They'd be very happy. Oh, look! The chickens like the rain. Oh, they're getting very muddy. Oh no, he doesn't like the rain. Hmm, it looks like you're right, Pepper. Yeah! <laughs> oh my, it was lucky I was wearing my raincoat, wasn't it? Oh, I have an idea. Come on, Pepper. I need your help getting things from the car. What are we doing, Daddy? Well, Pepper. Oh, that's a great idea, Daddy. <laughs> oh, dear. I think the rain is getting heavier. The animals won't be happy. Don't worry, little animals. You will all be dry in no time. Oh, that's better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yes! <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Guinea Pig? And how about you, little chicks? It looks like all that jumping in puddles made George and the chickens very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so who enjoyed the petting farm then? I did, I did. Even though it was a bit wet. Oh, yes. And would you look at that, just in time. Oh, dear. We should have made a raincoat for the car too. <laughs> 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 Ice cream! Mm. It's tasty, isn't it? I wonder if Pepper and Daddy Pig will end up eating it all in their special ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, come and get your yummy ice cream here. Oh, not so fast, Pepper. We need to set up first. flavours of ice cream look so yummy. Oh, they sure do, Peppa. Which one would you like to try before we open up the shop to customers? Strawberry, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh my, looks like we have some customers, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Hi, Susie. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Peppa. Could we please have some ice cream? Of course you can. You're our customers, Mandy. <laughs> Why don't you both choose which flavour you like the look of? Ice cream, ice cream. Yes, George, there is lots more. You just need to wait for the ferris wheel to finish spinning. Mm. Thank you, Peppa. Uh-oh. Whoa, it's raining ice cream. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Pedro. Don't worry, Mrs. Pig. I love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. It's okay, I'm all clean now. Good. Why don't you come with me and George to our ice cream truck? A whole truck filled with ice cream. Yes, please. Peppa, I didn't know you had an ice cream truck. Yes, Pedro, and the ice cream is delicious. Oh, ho -ho. George, would you like to serve our next customer? George? Yeah! <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> oh! Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey! I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Peppa. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. It's going to get as tall as the ferris wheel. 17, 18, 19, 20. Phew! I can't believe it! A 20 scoop ice cream! I 
don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream, ice cream! Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> Do we really need to wear all this sun cream, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right. Who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Ahem. <clears throat> Well, now I have, it's time for our adventure at the beach. Here it comes, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Oh, welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Pepper. Wow! <laughs> wow! Don't worry, George. Sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Good morning, children. I hope you're all ready for sports day. We're super ready. I've been practicing running and jumping. And I've been practicing throwing and catching. Excellent. Well, let's all get warmed up. Oh dear, it's raining. Looks like we won't be able to have our sports day after all. Hurry, children, let's head inside before we all get soaked. Oh, I was really looking forward to sports day. Not to worry, children. Perhaps we can have our sports day inside instead. Inside? Yes, there are lots of fun things we can do inside when it's raining. Hooray! Our first event shall be the egg and spoon race. 
Yay! I love an egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is about more than just speed. You have to have lots of balance and care as well. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Okay then, on your marks, get set, go! Whoa, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> we'll see about that. Careful children, remember both you and your eggs need to cross the line. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Congratulations, George! You are the winner! <laughs> Oops, never mind! On to the next event! Let's see what our next event shall be! Ooh, Ooh art! That's one of my favourite subjects! Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves! What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> wow. These are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. OK, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Silly George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Never mind George, how about you come up here and help me play some music for Peppa and Susie? Drum! Okay, time for round two. Slow down, George. I'm not sure I can play that fast. Phew! I'm exhausted. This was the best indoor sports day ever! <laughs> I'm so excited for playgroup today. I'm going to make the prettiest mask ever. I can't wait to see it, Peppa. <gasps> oh no! Where is Madame Gazelle? I hope she gets in soon so we can make our glittery masks today. She must be running late. Maybe she's trying to find art supplies for our lesson today, Peppa. Don't worry, everyone. We can make our masks ourselves. We have a lot of art supplies already. We'll wait here with you all until Madame Gazelle arrives. Yes, and I think it's a lovely idea to get started and show Madame Gazelle the lovely masks you make. have an idea. We just need to pretend that Madame Gazelle is here with us. Good 
great idea, Mandy. <laughs> right, everybody, who's ready to make some glittery masks? I didn't expect it to come to life. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy. It's only me. Let's make Madame Gazelle proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. <clears throat> Let's see what lovely creations you've all come up with in today's Arts and Crafts lesson. Great job, everyone. Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Oh, yes, Mummy! But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like. Because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho, ho, ho. I'm so... Sorry I'm late, everyone. I was... My goodness, you've all made your masks and they're lovely. I'm so proud of you all. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. We remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madame Gazelle, have been here the whole time. Ha ha ha! Madame Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness. Yes, OK, Susie. <laughs> Ooh, heaven. You can relax, Madame Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness! Mummy, are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Pepper. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right! Pepper, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> This sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, ho! thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh, no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> Whoa! Amazing work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. 
We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho, we should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. The guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome is in a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> That sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. not here either. 
They must be very good at hiding. <laughs> that was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> Oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the T-Rex came, scaring everyone. Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right! It's called a motorhome! And we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure! Yeah! yeah! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motorhome. Follow me! This is your bedroom. OK, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Pepper. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> OK, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr! A 
I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Pepper. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Silly daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. <laughs> Whoa! My goodness, these balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here ready for the morning. Right class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Yay! 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 Excellent! Follow me! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Wee! Oh, hello there! Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, children. Mrs. Pig, look at me! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Very cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? The balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? Oh, um, well. Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh no! But wait! Look over there! There's a balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here. Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me! What a wonderful idea! Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza. <laughs> Look up there, it's a balloon. Good spot, Rebecca. Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Just need to untie it. Yay! Yay! Good 
got it. <laughs> I can't see a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Pepper. And besides, you've been practising really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! OK, let's go! Three, two, one... <laughs> Hooray! We did it! Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes. That'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There! Perfect! Phew! Now, we'll need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. Oh. 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 
This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Pepper and George. <laughs> Ready, Peppa? Ready! Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Peppa and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake. That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! Sunflower win. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Look, George, it's growing. Oh, yes. You're going to make a lovely sunflower. Look, George, our sunflowers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> George, you're supposed to water the sunflowers, not me. These are coming along quite nicely. Pepper and George's sunflowers have grown very <laughs> tall indeed. Oh, Pepper and George, these sunflowers are beautiful. Let's take a picture to send to Grandpa Pig. Wonderful. Now let's wash our hands before we go inside. <laughs> Did you hear that, Granny Pig? I think it's your phone, Grandpa Pig. Oh, it's a picture of Pepper and George's sunflowers. Come look, Grandpa Pig. Splendid. Pepper and George's sunflowers are much taller than mine. Let's send them a picture so they know they have won. There. Perfect. Thank They're called jellyfish. Mm. Jelly! <laughs> They're not made of real jelly, George. <laughs> They're so wibbly wobbly. Shall we see what we can find in the next room? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> in the next room, Peppa spots a very strange looking creature. Oh! What's that? That's an octopus! George is a little bit afraid of the octopus. Don't worry, George. The octopus isn't going to hurt you. Look at how many legs it's got. Why don't you try and count them? OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, Pepper. Oh, look, Pepper. There's your friend, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Are you looking at all the fish in the aquarium too? Yes, but I think this tank is empty. No, Susie. Don't do that. You'll scare the fish. You were right, Peppa. Wow. 
That's a really big fish. Fishy! <laughs> the big fish splashed us. <laughs> what a naughty fish. Let's get you little fishies home and dry. Pepper and George love the aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Pepper. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Pepper and George. Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> Now all we have to do is wait, right Daddy? That's right Pepper. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh, Pepper, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it Mummy, read it. Dear Pepper and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too, but it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> the post is here! no post today. Oh, surprise! Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Pepper. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. Fun. We were... Oh, look, I wonder who that is. Hi, Danny. Danny, you're upside down. That's because I am a monkey hanging from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Is this better? No, now you're sideways, Danny. Just like Super Potato. It's Super Danny. Oh. <laughs> Hello, who's there? It's me, Candy. Candy, we can't see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was a video. <laughs> That's a bit too close now, Candy. Oh, sorry. There. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. Would you like to hear a joke? It's very funny. Oh, yes, please. OK. Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know, Candy. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, time for lunch. You can see your friends again tomorrow if you like. OK, Mummy. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow, Peppa. Bye, Danny. Bye, Candy. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Peppa. I'll have a new joke tomorrow. I can't wait, Candy. See you tomorrow. Peppa loves seeing her friends. It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go. Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know, you forgot to untie the balloon from the ground. Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry Daddy Pig, the hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me! Here we go! Up, up and away! 
careful, Peppa. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow! And look, there's our house. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear, where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry, Daddy Pig, your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is, your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! Okay then, everybody in. Off we go! Stop! What is it, Peppa? Daddy, we forgot our bikes. Oh dear, we can't leave without those. Let's try that again, shall we? Phew! Surely we have everything now. Hooray! Daddy Pig, Ooh. Mummy Pig, Peppa and George oh. have arrived at their campsite. Wow! I love the forest! Why don't you and George ride your bikes for a bit while Daddy Pig and I set up camp? Yay! Come on, George! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I like our campsite, Daddy Pig. Me too. Now, who is hungry? Me! Me! It is already time for dinner. Mummy, do you know any campfire songs? Hmm, I know this song. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Campfire dinner is served. <laughs> Hooray! Oh good, it stopped raining. You're right, Pepper. Slide! Come on, George, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We can go down the slide together. <laughs> Ready, George? Slide! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's only a little mud. Look at all those muddy puddles. Puddles! Watch me! <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. You try, George! Whee! George loves jumping in muddy puddles too! <laughs> wow! That's the biggest puddle I've ever seen! <laughs> me first! Oh dear! I seem to be stuck! Don't worry, Daddy! We can get you out! Pull! Pull! Oh, almost there! Oh dear! Now we're all stuck in the muddy puddle! 
This must be the muddiest day ever! <laughs> <laughs> Any sign of Teddy, George? No! Someone is at the door. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Teddy. It's Susie Sheep and Mummy Sheep. Oh, hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I like your hats. We are being detectives. Do you want to play? Ooh, yes, please. What mystery are we trying to solve, Peppa? We are trying to find Teddy. She has gone missing, but we are following her Teddy Prince. Where could she be? Could she be in here? She's not in here either. Maybe Teddy is hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I give up. Teddy is lost forever. Peppa, George, Susie, come quick. Mummy Pig has found more Teddy prints. Ooh, these prints are leading outside, Peppa. Hmm. Look, they are heading toward our little red car. you are, Teddy. What are you doing in here? That was silly of you to stay in the car, Teddy. The case of the missing Teddy is officially solved. Hooray! 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 Well, ooh. <laughs> this is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh dear. It looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends and welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you and we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig. Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Twins. Wow! Look at that tree! It's almost as big as our house. And what big presents! I wonder what could be inside. I bet it's a helicopter. Dinosaur! <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Hello, Madam Gazelle. What are you singing? We're carol singing. Want to try? I would love to, but George and I need to find a special Christmas present for Mummy. Why don't you try the Christmas pudding stall? My mum loves Christmas pudding. That's a very good idea, Candy. Come on, George. 
Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Would you like to try some of my famous Christmas pudding? Yes, please. I love Christmas pudding. Here you go. Yum, yum. It's so delicious. I'm glad you like it. Daddy, do you think this would be a good present for Mummy? I think it would be a lovely present, but it's not that easy to wrap a pudding. Why don't we try over there? I think I saw some fluffy slippers that Mummy would like. Great idea! These slippers are so soft and fluffy. Mummy's feet are going to be so warm. Daddy Pig helps Pepper and George wrap the slippers for Mummy. George has the very important job of putting the colourful ribbon on top. Now we can put Mummy's surprise presents under the tree. There! Now Mummy has two surprises to open on Christmas Day. Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. Pepper and George love to splash in the sea, almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Oh, that looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Mmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Pepper. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog, can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Peppa, what was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. Go on, Peppa. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George, but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome. Oh no, it's stuck. Come on everybody. One, two, three, push. Great job everyone. What a beautiful Christmas tree! Are you ready to decorate it now? Oh, yes! What shall we start with? I think we should start with the tinsel because it's sparkly and shiny and it matches my dress. That's a great idea! Careful, Peppa. You're turning Daddy Pig into a Christmas tree too. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. That's all right, Peppa. Let's hang the rest of the decorations together. Peppa and George help Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig decorate the rest of the tree. They hang some colourful baubles and some more shiny sparkly tinsel and some flashing fairy lights. There. We're all finished. Well done, everybody. It looks amazing, but I can't help but feel that something is missing. <coughs> That's right, George. There's no star on the top of the tree. It's not in the decorations box. I wonder where it could have gone. We can't have a Christmas tree without a star on top. <coughs> George, where are you going? What a wonderful idea, George. We can put your dinosaur on the top of the Christmas tree instead. Rawr! I think that this is the best Christmas tree we've ever had. What should we do first, Susie? 
Um, the Ferris wheel? Yes! Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please. Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig! Madam Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair, and you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard! Pepper must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. Hello and welcome to the garden games. It's finally the moment we have all been waiting for. The team challenge! Peppa and her family are having a sports day in the garden. It looks like our athletes are ready to begin. First up, the egg and spoon race. Ready? Steady? Go! Both teams are off to a strong start. Woo! Yeah! Oh no! How unlucky for the blue team! Try again, Danny! The red team has the lead and is starting the second challenge, the beanbag toss. There, there. Oh dear, the red team are having some problems. Here come Pepper and Daddy Pig. Wow, that was a great shot by Pepper. Uh-oh. But Mummy Pig and George are back in the race. It's going to all come down to the last event. The Muddy Puddle Bucket Challenge. The first team to fill their bucket with mud wins. Oh, it looks like the blue team is off to a strong start. But don't count the red team out yet. Oh, now the red team is in the lead. No, it's the blue. No, no, red again. No, blue. Who is it going to be? That's it. It's a draw. Everyone wins. Hooray! 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 Hooray!
On the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, All aboard, all aboard, all aboard. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, All aboard, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The children on the bus they giggle, 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 giggle. The children on the bus they giggle, 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 all through the town. The signals on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The signals on the bus go blink, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Pepper on the bus goes Pepper on the bus goes All through the town The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round Round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town Oh! 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yay! Ooh. <laughs> and this doesn't look like a chocolate cake to me. Hmm, you're right, Peppa. Oh, I know. Well done, Peppa. How could we forget the chocolate? Now we just have to mix it. Peppa and Daddy Pig are trying again to make a yummy chocolate cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. This looks perfect, Peppa. Now all we have to do is get the mixture in the tin. One, two, three! Mmm, oh. that would have been a very yummy cake. Oh dear, it seems making a cake can be tricky. Finally! Our cake is ready for the oven, Peppa! Hooray! Now we just have to wait. Hooray! Our cake is done! Cake! Cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Mummy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa! This really is the perfect chocolate cake! Well, almost perfect! <laughs> Do we really need to wear all this sun cream, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right. Who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Um. <clears throat> Well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. Here it comes, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, welcome to your very own castle. Prince George and Princess Peppa. Wow! <laughs> ah, wow! Don't worry, George. Sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That 
that's it. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, uh, be careful. Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> These balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here ready for the morning. Right class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Excellent! Follow me! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Whee! Oh, hello there! Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, children. Mrs Pig, look at me! Cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? The balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? Oh, um, well, Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh no! But wait! Look over there! There's the balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here! Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me! What a wonderful idea! Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza! Hooray! <laughs> Look up there! It's a balloon! Good spot, Rebecca! Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> Just need to untie it. See a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon.
children, you all did such a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we've found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> 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 Then the T-Rex came, scaring everyone! Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right! It's called a motorhome! And we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure! Yeah! yeah! Whee! This looks like a very fun camping site! Shall we set up our motorhome? Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motor home. Follow me. This is your bedroom. OK, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Peppa. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> Wee! Woo! Wee! <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> OK, George. How about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr. I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing! Well spotted, George! That's a shooting star! Make a wish! Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me! You're right, Pepper. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? 
<laughs> Silly daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So... Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure <gasps> in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest car I have ever seen. Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? Mm. Moon! Moon! Three, two, one. <laughs> George, the motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. <gasps> Puddle! George, no! Oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. That's strange. I was sure that I heard Peppa's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes. All that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, Oh, that's right. One for
Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Peppa. And besides, you've been practising really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! Okay, let's go! Three, two, one... <laughs> Hooray! We did it! Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There, perfect! You, now, we'll need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa, you look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow, this feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake! That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! Hooray!